Hello everybody, I'm going to present you tonight how to speed control this washing machine motor. Yeah. Okay, so you should be knowing by now what is this. If not, check out my other videos. This is a washing machine motor called a universal motor. And I'm going to show you today the washing machine motor speed control. How you do it, how expensive it is, and if it's working or not. Okay, so first thing first, the usual battery test. That's why I'm showing you the meaning of universal motor. This is meant to work on AC, but as well, it's going to work on, on DC as well. Not the same high speed, not the same rotation, but it's going to be there. Okay. First things first, for today's video, I'm going to present you two choices. Number one is this special voltage controller or motor controller. You're going to find um, a link in the description below where you can find this one. I did bought this one from Amazon, but they're not cheap. You can find it on eBay as well. And you're going to find uh, the specs. And you can search it or wherever you're gonna buy it from Alibaba, Aliexpress or whatever you want. So you got this dedicated version which is gonna control the AC voltage or second version is a light dimmer. We're gonna try this. Basically this is a video request to try this light dimmer to see if it's gonna work the the washing machine motor or not. I didn't test it before. I saw some people doing it but there is some question about it okay so first things first i think on this one yeah it's got some input these two wires which is going to be plugged into the main and the output is going to be these two wires all right so we're going to connect the wires uh, so the output straight to the washing machine motor okay okay and these two we're gonna plug into a wire that we're gonna plug into the mains. And we have here the wire. Be very careful, don't try this at home. Or if you're gonna try it, unplug your device before you connect the wires and stuff. So we're gonna connect the input to this here. Kind of stiff. Gonna touch them and watch out for these wires. Not gonna want to touch them as well okie dokie plug in fingers crossed and yep yeah it's working it's working as a charm friends yeah because this is a dedicated device voltage control is working so no questions there unplug it as well unplug this one and let's see now with the light switch dimmer okie dokie so this is a inline device which means it's gonna be connected in series the main is gonna go onto one look one of the main is gonna go onto this one the other is gonna be connected to the wire and the rest is gonna be going back to the mains okay so this is it okay okay here you go so as i show first wire is gonna go into the main once again unplug your device before you do the stuff so one wire goes to the main the other wire after the dimmer switch is gonna be connected to one wire of the washing machine motor if you don't know how to connect the washing machine motor, how to wire it as a generator or as normal as a battery, you check out my other video. And the other one is going back into the mains. And we will see friends. Fingers crossed. We don't know what's gonna happen now. Let's see. Three, two, one. Nothing. Ooh. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
Ooh. Yeah, it's working, friends. It's working. I think uh, you're not gonna be able to control it all the way, but it's working. Yeah, working as a child. Yeah. Friends, so with a normal light dimmer, this is a 250 watts light dimmer very cheap one you can control the washing machine motor how about that so it's working you don't have to buy the this one the dedicated one but you can make all sorts of device with this one so the normal light dimmer is doing so this is a success thanks all for watching see you next time on more interesting video and now let's see it all the way through <laughs>